Hey guys, it's a girl here, the one that started it all, and I have another movie review. A new automation had recommended that I watch The Bang. And um I watched it, heard that there was a trilogy, and honestly I don't think I'd be watching the rest of the films. Um Basically, this movie, I'm going to give it a 5. A 5 out of 10. Um, it was good, but it just, it didn't grab me. It didn't, it didn't grab me. It didn't seem like, oh, I want to watch the next one. It didn't grab me enough to watch the next film and the film after that. So I don't, so Anu, I hope you don't hate me. I won't be watching the rest of the trilogy, the rest of the movie franchise. But I did watch this, and um, I know a lot of people say you can't judge a movie by a concept. You know, you can't do that. You know, but that's how I'm wired. <laughs> if the concept doesn't grab me, and the characters don't do enough to go, okay, maybe this is a good movie. Maybe this is a, a great franchise. You know, I'm only going by how I feel, how I think, you know. I'm not going to let anyone dictate how I feel or think. And honestly, how I felt and think about this movie is what I'm going to say. Now, to me, I felt it was predictable. That's what I don't like. And no one likes things that are predictable because it takes away from the concept. And it just, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't say the concept. It doesn't seem to do anything about it. But I did watch it. Some things were good. The action sequence were good, of course. But it's just every the way that everything was laid out. It was almost like Pushpa. Pushpa the rise on how everything just seemed predictable. Bad guy does this, good guy does that. You know, it's it, it was a constant pattern that just never ceased and it kept going and going until the very end. And I'm not going to watch the rest of the sequels because I know that's what it's going to be. But I am going to do this review on this movie. So a new automation. I, I really hope you don't hate me for this. Um, just, like I said, it just didn't do it for me. So basically what this movie is about. This movie is about True Bull C. H U L B U L Chubal. I believe that's how you spell the name. And that's, I believe that's how you say the name. Excuse me. I even wrote it down and everything. I have everything down here because, you know, I, certain names sound the same. So I want to make sure I'm not butchering the name, let alone confusing people. So Chubal is the main character of the story. He is our man, he is the main man. He lives with his stepfather and mother and has a brother, a younger brother named Mackay. I really hope I said it right, Mackay. I really hope I said it right and I didn't butcher it. I, I really hope. I'm sorry if I did. I do apologize. But he lives with his family and his younger brother. When he gets older, he still lives with his family but becomes a policeman. And as he's a policeman, he, st he meets his girlfriend, Rajol, Rajol, and um, he wants to marry her and everything, but she refuses the proposal because she has a father who is a drunken man, who's a drunk man, and his brother also wants to get married. He wants to get married to a woman. But the father, the stepfather, kind of refuses it because he has to pay the loans off that he you that he took out so he can make the factory his factory. Um. So, uh, although he feels that okay, well, you are gonna wear your hair, so I don't see how we won't do that. I'll think of something. Go ahead and marry because like she'll be a rich family, and I can easily use that money to pay off the loans, things like that. As the movie continues, he steals money from the brother, from Chupal, 
and uses that to pay for the wedding and everything else. Chubal meets the main bad guy, Chidi, who is a corrupt politician. A corrupt politician. And they immediately become enemies. Become enemies like that. After the father steals Chupal's money, Chupal's, I'm really sorry if I keep on butchering his name, I'm really sorry. He finds out about this because when they go for like the wedding or the wedding and everything, he finds out that he financed it. After Rachel's father, you know, takes his own life because he feels that she won't marry anyone if I'm still around. So when Chubo finds out that the money that was used for the wedding to finance the wedding, um, as a way to disgrace Makai and him, they do an impromptu wedding, which sort of causes the father of the bride to cancel the wedding. Like, wow, you stole money from him? Wait, 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 that's not, we're not having that. No, that's disgraceful. And that's what he did. He brought disgrace to that. Because, you know, you disgraced me. You took money from me. And, you know, I'm not going to let that happen. You know, since I did the wedding, I might as well do this, this, because that's my money. And there's been, there's stuff that goes downhill after that. So what happened is, due to this fiasco, um, the younger brother, Mackay, starts to beat on a factory worker be for a simple mistake. And the factory worker and the factory girl's mother goes to the police station with him in tow. And the brother, the two brothers start fighting. The reason for that, Shubo disgraces his brother, beats him up in the public for public humiliation. The bad guy, Chidi, takes advantage of this. And goes, he's a thief. The father's a thief. Takes the father in. Not wanting to egg on the situation, he apologizes to Chippo. He apologizes to our boy. And our boy simply slaps him. Slaps his brother. And goes, this is your disgrace. You deal with it. Our boy then meets a man called Dayal. Dale, who is a politician who hates the bad guy as well. They end up working together. Uh, Chubal starts going after Chidai's bruise and frames him. This angers Chidi to a point where he kills the mother. He kills the mother Unbeknownst to everyone. Once the mother is killed, you know, the things go crazy. And Mekai calls for help for him because Chitai decides to set the factory on fire as a way to get payback for what Chibal did. This causes the father, the stepfather, to have a heart attack. And Mikhail asks for Chidai because he was the one that did it all. But Mikhail doesn't know that. Asks for his help to pay for the treatment. Chidai does agree only if he takes mangoes, a crate of mangoes, to Dayal's house. Where there is a bomb in that crate. And that bomb detonates and kills Dayal after Mikhail leaves. So, things go a lot more hectic out there. Because when the final comp confrontation happens, Mackay reveals to him he killed our mother and made me plant a bomb. Because basically, well, how that happens was that Shadi tells the brother, go kill your brother, go kill Chabal. But he tells Chabal, everything. He killed our mother. He made me send a bomb to this and that. You know, blah, blah, blah. And then in the kind of confrontation, you know, these boys go and 
make the bad guy pay, make Chitty pay, and make by making him inhale smoke, where the guy dies, where the bad guy dies. And in the end, the brother Makai marries his woman. I know everything's kind of jumbled up because first off, after the father does take the money, the mother is killed because uh, when Chabal goes home, he finds his mother has been killed. The house is ransacked and everything and no one knows why. Um, like I said, everything's jumbled up in my head. But yeah, the mother dies first. <laughs> I don't mean to sound harsh. I do apologize. Chetty killed their mother first and this was after he stole the money. And then that's when, you know, the things start to fall in place. And then when, um, after Chapal did what he did, Chidi Chidi takes revenge and starts, you know, burn the factory, burns the stepfather's factory, which caused him to have a heart attack. And then the rest, like I said, happens. Yeah. Like I said, everything was jumbled up <laughs> in my head. But yeah, that's what happened. It was very predictable. I mean, once the mother died, I'm like, okay, the dude did it. Or someone associated to the dude did it. You know, it just... All right, and then, okay, he's going to use the brother. And then... It it was way too predictable, too predictable for my taste. I do apologize, I knew. Um, the action sequences were cool. The part when he does first meet his girlfriend, when Chabon first meets his girlfriend, he's like, walking all... Like, you hear the Indian music, he's like... Has like the little, uh, the water base on his head. And she. <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing? And he goes, how did you find me? You left the shop, uh, uh, shop unattended, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, how much? And she's like saying 20 rupee, rupees. I don't know how to pronounce them. He gives her a good amount. He goes, you're looting a. You know, you're looting a police officer, you know, things like that. She goes, I don't have any change. He goes, that's okay. You know, so it's kind of weird, you know, because that's how she meets the guy. That's how he meets her and things like that. And it's just like, you know, it, I, I was kind of cracking up when the music came on. He's like, doo, 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 walking like with sweat. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, I'll give it a five. Um, I'm not gonna watch the other ones. I'm sorry. It's just I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. You know, I'm not gonna do it. It doesn't. It, if you when you don't like something, you don't like something. You can't force yourself into liking something because you didn't like it. You know, you can't do that. That's not right. You think you're not being true to yourself. And honestly, if I did watch the rest of them, knowing fully well I didn't like the first one. You know, you know, I'm I'm being fake. I'm lying to myself and I'm being fake. That's not right. I refuse to be fake. I refuse to lie to myself. So I won't be watching the rest of the sequels because the thing about it is when you make a franchise, you watch the original and you fall in love with it and then you watch the sequel. The sequel was okay, but you watch but you rewatch the first one because you appreciate the original, you know, to appreciate that. You know, that's what you would do. That's what the whole thing was. And honestly, now, you're not saying that I didn't appreciate this movie. It's just it doesn't seem to that I have enough to watch the other one. Because I'm going to give it a five. Sorry. Um, I'm going to give it a five. It was all right. You know, like I said, way too predictable. And, you know, a new automation. I'm really sorry. I won't be watching the rest of the others or the franchise. Um, I am still going to watch KGF because that grabbed my attention really good. So once that, once uh, uh, Carl Goldfields comes out, Koala Goldfields, once that movie comes out, I will watch it. I don't worry, I will watch it and I will do a review on that. But um, yeah, the rest of the sequels I'm not going to watch. Um, I'll give this movie a five. Um, I thought about watching it again, but it was just like, I, I can't, I can't bring myself to watch it again. Um, like I said, I'll give it a five. I'll give it a five. So, a new automation, thank you so much for this request. I do appreciate it. Um, sorry that I didn't like this film very much. Um, but I watched it. I gave it a chance. I just, 
It was all right. I'll give it a five, you know. So if you guys want to watch this movie, go ahead. I'm not saying don't watch this movie. You guys, you guys have your own prerogatives. You guys do what you want to do. If you watch it and you liked it, great. If you watched it and didn't like it, but you didn't like it for different reasons, that's fine too. I'm not going to tell you what to do when and what not to do because my thoughts are my thoughts. My opinions are my opinions. My actions are mine. I will never influence my thoughts, my actions, my opinions on someone else to influence them to think what I think. No, that's not happening. That's not what I do. I didn't like it. I gave it a five. I tried it out. You know, the reason why I didn't like it because of the unpredictability. That's my reason. That's my main reason. Um, but again, uh, thank you so much for watching. A new automation, thank you so much for the request. I will watch the sequel to KGF once it comes out, once I get a chance. And uh, we'll uh, go from there. So uh, thank you so much, guys. I uh, hope you guys will have a wonderful day and uh, be safe out there, all right?